Hello everyone, I'm Nick Hoffman, Application Engineer for Oros North Americas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit about sound insulation and different things in NVGate regarding sound insulation. Two microphones are placed in the meeting room, microphone A and microphone B, and there's one microphone in the hallway that we'll call microphone C. We'll measure the average level in the meeting room while a loudspeaker placed in the room will emit white noise generated by the analyzer's output. We'll measure the average level in the hall simultaneously. The level difference between the level in the meeting room, L1, and the level in the hall, L2, is computed in real time as global values and octave spectrum. First, we open the Select Inputs window, and then we activate inputs 1 through 3 as acoustic pressure. Now, we change the input labels to easily identify the corresponding microphones. The first two are placed inside the room, and the third one outside. Then, we select the microphones that are being used for this measurement. The transducers have previously been registered in our transducer database. The sampling frequency directly affects the signal bandwidth. We adjust the sampling frequency to 51.2 kHz in order to have a bandwidth of 20 kHz. Now we open the results window. In the 1 over N octave tab, we select the average 1 over N octave spectra and display them for all microphones. We also create a window to display the three overall levels. Now we open the Octave Plugin Settings window. A linear averaging should be used for this kind of measurement. We will be using 10 seconds averaging, and we will also choose to measure the octave spectra. We are also going to change the upper central frequency to compute spectra from 16 Hz to 8 kHz. As you can see, the x-axis of the spectra window is adjusted accordingly. Now we want to compute the inside level. So therefore, we will create a quadratic average of inputs 1 and 2. We rename the label as L1, and then we click OK. As you can see, a new result is displayed called L1. We will now create a decibel comparison operator to compute the level difference between the inside level, L1, and the outside level, L2. We rename the label as L1-L2 and click on OK. A new result window is displayed. Now we create exactly the same operators for the spectra window. First, a quadratic average of the inputs 1 and 2, naming the operator also L1. and then a decibel comparison to compute the level difference between L1 and L2, also named L1-L2. Now we begin the measurement. After 10 seconds, the measurement stops. The computed level difference is displayed below. It can also be found in the interface of the spectra window for the overall levels, as well as for each octave band moving the cursors. As you can see here for the 1 kHz octave band, the level difference is 31.3 decibels.